Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday the something or other. I don't know what day it is. I'm gonna put it on the screen. My mom is coming today. I'm so excited to see her. She's gonna be here all week. We're gonna do fun mom daughter stuff. But today, before she gets here, Brian and I are going to a fitness class that I used to love to go to and I haven't gone to in a really long time, like years. It's been like three or four years since I started competing. I was like, I used to go all the time. Don't go anymore, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go today, because I'm excited and I miss it, and let's go. <sighs> we went to Soul Cycle, and that was the hardest. <laughs> cardio or workout I've done in a while. I feel super energized though. Like I feel invigorated and it was so fun. Brian stayed up really late so he's kind of dying but <laughs> otherwise aside from that I wouldn't recommend going when you don't stay up when you don't get enough sleep but first thing in the morning got like how, what, how long was that like 35 40 minutes? I'm not sure. It wasn't that long but it was amazing. Morning breakfast is gonna be some coffee, even though I had some before the class. And then I have my bite meals, pancake meal. I honestly just, when I'm cutting, this meal only has 15 carbs and it's like a good amount. And it's eggs and bacon and pancakes and it's just like the perfect breakfast, honestly. So I have that almost every day along with um, a bunch of other stuff. I'll show you guys what I eat today. Still haven't showered, update. It is 1.09 p.m. and I had meetings and client phone calls with my mastermind students. I'm excited to talk to you guys more about that actually. Um, I have a event with them. I like set up a whole event. Everyone's coming to Los Angeles on Saturday the 1st so I'm gonna like be showing you guys all of them and talking to you guys more about that very soon. But um, other stuff that I wanted to ask you all, I had some questions for you guys. So I think what I'm most curious about is what questions you guys have on any of the stuff you feel like I would be a good person to help you with. I'm like looking for like more, I guess, content ideas. Like I have a lot of content ideas, but I just wanna make sure that like you guys are getting what you would like to see out of me, regardless of if it's like, I like when you do vlogs, Amanda. I like when you just talk to us for a really, really long time, Amanda. I like seeing more workout stuff, Amanda. I wanna see more like, how to do fitness stuff, Amanda. I wanna see more how to do business stuff, Amanda. Like, let me know in the comment section because I wanna make sure that I'm like clear on what you guys are wondering about. Make sure that's that. Th Amanda, uh, hey. this is your book. Oh, thank you. Okay, love you. Bye, I love you. See you. See you soon. The saddest. I'll see and you I'm next week. I'm coming with you. You're coming with me for like 15 minutes. No. Andy's leaving and going Don't back to Canada. Me. I'll be back soon mm. though. Thank you for driving me. Of course. Duh. Bye. Bye. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'll miss you. Bye, uh, So I dropped one friend off at the airport so and then I picked up my mommy. So excited. Mom's here for the week. This is the first time Brian's meeting my mom. It's really cute. <laughs> they both wave. We're making some dinner, so we got some chicken. Um, Brian got this chicken from the store. And then potatoes. Okay, final product for dinner, if it would focus, is chicken, random vegetable, I think it's like peppers, zucchini, onion, reduced sugar ketchup, and 180 grams or so of white potato. Anybody remember from the house tour when we said we had wine, Still haven't opened it, but it's getting good use because mom would like some. Absolutely. And we haven't opened it yet. I figured there'd be a good use for it at some point. It is the next day and I'm at the office and I have a podcast guest I wanted to introduce you guys to. I always like to introduce my podcast guest here first because the podcast came out like a few months after, but this is Jerrica. Hi! And she's awesome. We actually met in Austin, Texas. Um, or San Antonio. Oh, it was San Antonio. It was San Antonio. What yeah. was it, like March? 
Like February. February. It was yeah. forever ago. And then when I met her, I was like, can I get you on my podcast? I no, I was like, like, can I be on your podcast? I forget. No, I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's, yes. yes. So you study, what's the exact title of what you study? It's Technically, it's psychology, it's human development and family sciences, so I right. get like the lifespan perspective. Right. Yeah. So what we're going to talk about on the podcast is so interesting. So we're going to talk about interpersonal relationships with couples, social support. I know a lot of you guys ask about like where to find friends that like um, that share the same thought, like the, share the same passions as you and like yeah. fitness and a lot of that confusion, oh, sorry, a lot of that like stress in life comes from not having the social support of friends and people that share the same thought process mm -hmm. as you. So we're gonna talk all through that stuff and I'm super excited about yeah, it. Yeah, and actually, and how it affects like your health outcomes, so like right. stress and depression and other things like that. Because social that support stuff. matters. Social support yeah, matters. It does. And Jerrick is also one of our three contributors for FOCA. So she's mm -hmm. been, she actually has like an entire module in our course that she created, yeah, um, so. which it's like so good. It's all about coach client relationships and effective communication so so Yay. excited search me jerica x fit on youtube jerica x underscore fit on instagram and i have a website jerica x.com cool j-e-r-i-c-a like erica with a j so i recently did a youtube video on online dating okay and one of the downfalls of online dating is that you see a picture of somebody and they have a profile and you're making up all these schemas in your head of like basically taking your past experiences and thinking this is who this yep. person is, but you don't know what they sound like, you don't know what they smell like, you don't know, you know, all the sides to them. And so one of the things that's great about you and Brian is that you guys actually watched each other over video and got to see each other's mannerisms and how they, you know, you guys spoke and talked. I um, think that was the biggest part for mm -hmm. me wanting to even reach out to him and him same back because you saw like I could like him right instead of just seeing a picture and even somebody. like that's why I think Instagram stories and Snapchat is so important and that's why it's so huge because you can see someone who for who they really are a lot of these in-person interactions and that chemistry that you can't really right. capture over the app and so but you guys kind of were able you know to see on video and I think that's really special and really cool and I think somebody I mean <laughs> let's go make a dating app that has video or, like, seriously so I completely forgot my hair tie for the gym. So they had this at the front desk. Not sure how gross it is to use an old clip, but we are going to make this work because I cannot do this without my hair up. Works. What's up guys? So I was going to talk you through my tra training a little bit today with my workout, but instead of that, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about like an update with me and my training and where I'm at and the cut and stuff like that. And I just wanted to talk about what it's like to not have an end goal. And that's something a lot of you guys are probably potentially veterans in, but for me, um, or for anybody else who's watching who has done competitions and has always had an end goal, this is so new for me. And that's like why I wanted to embark on this series and this cut and do it without an end goal and to see what it was like. And I thought that, you know what, like I've always had the dedication when it comes to competing. Um, I was always just excited to push myself. And when it comes to this cut, I found myself a little bit like lackadaisical. Um, I don't like have this like, internal drive to like just push myself and like really really challenge myself I guess you could say when previously I definitely did and I would also not hesitate to say that in the in the past I was uber focused on competing um there was definitely competing seasons like when I first was getting started where 
I was so excited about it because it was like so new to me and I was super dedicated, super motivated because it was the first time I was seeing like fitness progress. And then there was another season where it was the like only thing that I had to focus on, like making videos for YouTube and competing and that was it. So like fitness was my whole life. And now I'm in this place where fitness is not my whole life. I am super focused on my, my business. I am creating two new businesses. I have so many things going on and new relationships. I have a boyfriend now and before I didn't have that. So like that wasn't even a thing. And all of these things that are now happening and fitness is not my whole entire life anymore. It's only a part of it. So when you don't have an end goal and that's how your life is structured like it is for me and I think it is for a lot of you guys, it's definitely more difficult to really keep yourself and keep pushing forward and it's been really interesting for me to realize that that's, that's what I'm going through and I'm, I'm so used to, again, always having that dedication and showing you guys it's to always show up and to always be there um, and here I am. I'm still going to the gym five, six days a week at this point but I'm also like, always thinking like, you yeah, know, it's probably not a big deal if I don't go and it's probably this and it's probably that and making excuses for myself and all of that stuff that I feel like I'm going through with you guys for the first time in a couple of years, honestly. So it's been really interesting, but I think it's a really great learning experience and I'm always just looking to learn and to grow. And I think in order to combat that, um, I just have to be self-aware. I think self-awareness is probably one of the most important things for you to do and for anybody to do um, and, and realize that you have in order to move forward and grow and become better and learn from what you, what's going on right now. So that's something that I'm dealing with. Um, it's not something that's super negative. I think it's just something that's new to me and I have all these other amazing things in my life that I am currently balancing and there's only so much bandwidth for fitness, which is fine. So that being said, um, I'm going to keep pushing through this cut. My training is going okay. It's it's going. <laughs> that's, that's something that I can say for it at this point. Um, and I might have some more update with updates for you guys in the future about what the cut is going to look like towards the end of it. We are currently one and a half weeks until it's supposed to end, which probably isn't going to happen. But I will talk to you guys about like my plans and thoughts about that in another video, probably next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.